So we're going to do a balance video today that focuses in on physical balance, but also helps build coordination. So make sure you have a sturdy chair and you can do this either barefoot or with shoes of progression if it is okay with you is to move to barefoot. So we're going to start off with tree pose. So whatever leg is closest to the chair, really plant that firmly into the ground, spread the toes, soft bend in the knee, and then bring your weight over to your, your standing leg, bring the knee up on your opposite leg, and open up the hip, the hip almost like you're kind of opening up a door, and then bring your toe to the side of your foot and your heels resting your ankle. Hips are face forward. So this is a good stretch right here, especially if you have tightness in the hips. And so how do we progress from this? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. Let's start with the progression with our foot. We can move it up to the calf and rest on the calf. Now we don't ever rest our foot on our knee. So the other step would be to bring your foot up and place it in your inner thigh. And so now let's talk about progressions with the hands. So once you're comfortable in your position with your foot, you can bring your left hand to your chest or the hand not holding the chair. Make sure you've got that soft bend in the standing leg and maybe just slightly bring the hand off the chair or rest it lightly. This is a tough balance pose. Breathe in, focus in on one spot and maybe you can raise it a little bit higher. Potentially, maybe it can join the left hand. Really stay focused on that one spot. Keep that knee soft on the standing leg. Just maintain your focus. And if your hand is not on the chair, place your hand back down on the chair. Go ahead and bring both feet on the ground and shake it out. Which, by the way, I forgot to introduce my workout partner today. I have Samson, my 17-year-old dachshund, and that is Boo Boo, my 14-year-old dachshund. So we're going to move to the side, so I'm going to have to be careful as to not affect my 17-year-old workout partner. And so moving to the opposite side this time, the leg closest chair, plant firmly on the ground, soft bend in that knee, open up that hip like you're opening up a door, toes on ground, heel comes to angle. Both hips are facing forward, shoulders back, and hold. And so now you know what progression you use on the other side. So whatever progression you would like to use on this side, whether maybe it's trying to bring the foot up a little higher, is completely up to you. When you are doing balance workouts, the goal is to move towards progressions. You may not be able to, you may be able to stay at one spot and that's great. But if you can, practice balance regularly and move to progressions. Now I talk often about how balance videos give you mental balance. The goal when you're balancing is to focus in on one thing and one thing only. It helps you maintain focus and of course maintain balance. Make sure that knee is soft on the standing leg. Breathing in and out. Then go ahead and place your hand back down the chair if you don't already have it there. Feet come down. Let's shake it out. So I'm going to demo, which we're going to move our chair to the other side. I'm going to give you a demo of what I'm going to do next before I want you to join in. So with your leg closest to the chair firmly planted, you're going to take your opposite foot and place it in front of you. And when you do, you're going to move your balance into that foot. So it will look like this. And so once I put it forward, I'm going to move my balance to that foot. And then I'm going to take my foot, come back down, bring my foot behind me, 
And what I do, I'm going to move back. I'm going to move back onto that foot. So now if you can't get your foot directly behind you, you can just bring it to the side. So let's give this a try. So leg closest to the chair, firmly planted on ground, knee is soft. Go ahead and place your foot directly in front and as you do, move your weight into that front foot. Your back heel will slightly come off. Bring your hands up. Progression, hands up. Arms come down if you have them up. Grabbing the chair, rock back onto the back foot. Majority of your weight is now on that back foot. Front toes are up. Let's move that front foot behind. So either bring it right there, if that's as far as you can go, or if you can get your toes to touch the heel, do that. And as soon as you do that, rock back so that your weight is fully on that foot, or almost fully on that foot, and your toes pointed up. Maintain your focus. And if you'd like, open your arms up. Yeah, and bring your arms down. So we're gonna do this a couple times more, but we're gonna move a little bit quicker. So bring the foot down full weight and go ahead and bring your foot in front of you. Move forward, rocking onto that front foot. Heel comes off the ground on the back foot. If you'd like to bring your arms up, bring them up. Arms back down, hold the chair, rock back into that back foot. Up front foot comes behind you. Toes to the heel, rock back. Weight is on the back foot. Toes on the front foot are up. You can bring your arms up. And so the next couple of times, we're gonna move it even a little bit quicker. No arms this time. Front foot weight comes down, weight goes off back foot, back foot comes up, back heel to front toes, rock onto this, that front foot. Rock back to the back foot, front foot comes behind you, toes to the heels, rock your weight onto that back foot. Now progression is you can work on not holding on to the chair. Now at any time that you need that chair. So it's kind of like we're almost rock course and back and forth. And rocking forward. Heel comes down in the back. Foot comes behind you. I need the chair. Let's do this one more time. Forward into the weight onto that. Front foot. Front foot comes behind you, toes touch heel. Rock back into the back foot now. Okay. And bring both feet together. One more time in tree pose. If you've been unable to take your hand off the chair, one of the things I'd like you to do is bring your left hand to the chest and just rest your hand on the chair. And maybe occasionally just pull your hand up, even just a little bit. You may notice that you're able to do it a little bit longer each time. Hand down, shake it out. We're gonna move to the other side. <coughs> So moving into tree pose, leg closest to chair, firmly planted into the ground, soft bend in the knee, open up your hip, bring your toes to the ground. And so at this point in time, you know what progression works for you. And so as you go through this, I want you to challenge yourself. So if your toes are on the ground, maybe bring your toes a little bit off the ground, maybe even a little bit higher. Or if you're comfortable with your toes on your ground, 
and you don't want to move them, maybe rest your hands lightly on the chair. Maybe bring the hand up a little bit. Feeling that motion in your body as your body focuses on maintaining balance. So with these workouts, always make sure it's what works for you. So at any time, you can bring your hands in front. And just hold. And place your hand on the chair and let's shake it out. So you're a little bit better practice from the last time because I know this next balance move can be a little confusing, but we are still going to start slow and using our movements. <laughs> so taking your foot that is farthest from the chair, bring that up, heel touches to toes, front foot comes down and you rock your weight into that front foot, heel comes off the ground. Potentially stay here. Bring your arm up, or maybe bring, bring your opposite arm up. Always being careful not to lock your knees out. Bring your hands down. Back heel comes down, weight moves towards back heel, front foot comes behind. Toast heel, rock back into that back foot. Toast come off ground off front and with front foot. And hand back down. So we're going to move a little bit faster. So go ahead, bring your weight towards your front foot. Front foot comes down, back foot comes behind, heels to toes. Move weight into that front foot. Heel and back foot comes off ground. Now progression is not going out the chair. Let's bring that front foot back, toes go to heel. Weight goes back into that back foot. Toes and front foot come up. So just like you're rocking, just go front, back, and forth. And if you can, whenever you can, Remove your hands from the chair. Then so back foot up, heel to toes, weight comes into that front foot, heel and back foot comes up, rock back, bring that front foot back, toes to heels, weight goes down to that back foot, front toes come up. Let's do this a couple more times. And Remove your hands if possible, even if it's only for a moment. Definitely a good challenge is keeping your hands off the chair while you move into the back pose. That's a difficult one. So let's roll through this one more time. feet together, shake it out. So our final is tree pose. Going to whatever progression works for you. Maybe ramping it up a notch, doing something a little more. Maybe bring your foot up a little bit higher. Lightly resting that hand on the chair. Maybe even bringing that hand off the chair for, you for just a moment. Working up to the point where you can bring your hands to your chest. If that's something that's you're working towards. And then if you need deeper head hip stretch, open your hip up a little bit more. But remember, hip bones face forward. Inhale, exhale. Hand comes to chair, both feet on the ground, shake it out. So let's do some stretches. So placing your hands on the back of your chair, bring your feet out, press your hips back. 
And as you press your hips back, lean forward. So now the goal with this stretch is to feel a very deep stretch down the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Keep your abdominals tucked in. Protecting that back. And push back, getting a nice deep stretch. So now bend the knees and bring yourself up. Take your right foot, bring your right foot back. You may need to bring your front foot up a little bit. Bend the knee. Just stretch and then come forward. Let's give it a nice stretch right down the front of the line this time. And holding up the chair, bring that back foot up. Switch feet. This time, opposite leg from the back, bend in that back knee, bend in the front knee, and come forward. He's a good workout partner. He keeps me company. And then hands back on the back of the chair, bring that back foot up. Thank you so much for being a part of this balanced workout with me today. Have a fantastic day. Bye.